on it up from the Master and Morden to the Court of Assistance, the Worshipful full Company of Glovers of London. And like I said, I had that one for 47 years, but then I worked another five years, no, eight years after that. A total of 55. Each worker had with a 10 shilling note in, which at that time to me was a fortune. Well, now there's Mr. T. Burton, he was known to us as Mr. Tommy Burton, and like I said, he's responsible for the Burton Art Gallery. I understand, I've got no proof that it was built in memory of his daughter. I knew his daughter Mary, she died many years ago. And then there was a Rolf Cock. He was in our building society, I think, at one time. He was. Then Mr. Beer. He virtually became a grandfather to me. He was lovely. And then there was Mr. Frank Day and, and Mr. Tommy Fulford. All, all the directors, oh, well, I think that's why three of the directors came to our room and we were called it now in and we were given this. We had no idea what it was. And why I've kept it, I've no idea, but it must have meant something to me at the time. We certainly the ten shilling note debt. Now this was taken in the 1940s. I, I knew all of them, but I think it must have been just the workroom then. That's Mr. Sotel. He was our boss. And that was the four lady. She was called uh, Miss Knight. And then there was two sisters there, and Mrs. Taylor. Um, she was in the office, Miss Street, Miss Luxton. Miriam, a lady called Miriam Morley, Mrs. Northwood. Miss Passmore, she was the forewoman in the workroom with all the machines and everything. That was all the workers in that factory. The cutters and youngsters in all the different rooms, the office workers, the machinist. And that was Mr. Raymond Saltel, the son of Mr. Saltel that was our manager. He came and learnt it all through. And then the other one, Mr. Roger Day, he was the son of another director that we had. Well, although at the time I didn't want to work in a factory, I couldn't have worked in anywhere nicer. People cared. If you went in one day and said, oh, my mum's very poorly or something, the next day you can bet your life that they would be saying, what sort of night does your mum have? I found it was, you know, they were very understanding, they were very caring. Although I got very happy memories of it. 